Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. I just watched uh, your video from last week. Your most recent video, because technically this is my video from last week. Uh, clearly, we are on a great schedule here. Um, anyway, and it was pretty fun um, because now I know things, things about process theology. Um, and you did explain it in a way that made sense. Uh, it took like halfway through the second drawing, I think, for me to get the first drawing. And then I was like, oh, okay. I also just want to say that whenever there's something that started with a mathematician and there's time in it, just make sure to give yourself extra time, like extra room before you understand that. Because like any time that those concepts, you know, it's, math and time have happened together and I've had to understand it. It's been like bashing my head against the wall repeatedly. Um, but then at the end, it's this, you know, moment of glory where you're like, oh my god, I get it, I must be super smart. And then you're like, oh, well, a lot of other people get it. But cool. I, I also. Anyway, that's just my way of saying that it'll pro it just might be a while before the time bits kick in, but when they do, it might be all at once and then you'll feel real awesome. Because, you know what, you are really awesome, so... Yeah, I actually have like adequate energy to get through today, which is really exciting and um, hasn't been the case. Unfortunately, part of it has been fueled by like copious annoyance um, and irritation and not like rage. I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm just real like, mm, February can be over. It, the weather of February can be over. The month of February is being over too soon. Um, but we're back to below freezing temperatures for the foreseeable future. By which I don't mean like through July. I mean like through the specific days that weather websites have predictions for. Um, and it's going to be in the negative temperatures either tomorrow or the next day. I don't remember which. And I'm not very thrilled about that. <laughs> um, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I also... When, so uh, Pat and I went to the store over the weekend with Emily called Rotofugi, where it's like a designer toys stuff, um, which is sort of a weird concept, but like they've got all these cool plastic toys for adults things, and I would show you mine, I just don't know where it is. I got a uh, blind box, which is, um, you know, a company makes a bunch of different toys and puts them all in identical boxes and says, you know, your chances of getting this one or this one or this one on the outside, right? Um, and I got a little, I, I bought a Disney one, um, and I got a little Jack Skellington. And last time I got the little Disney one, hold on. I got, like, Stitch doing a weird hula dance. Um, so that's pretty cool. And Pat did a ponies one. I'm going to show you as well. But the tail came off. But it's still super cool. Look at the pony. Anyway, um, it's a super cool store. And I also got fuzzy stickers. Fuzzy cat stickers. I, I spent a while in front of the stickers section. and was like, I need to relive my childhood and get at least one of these. It's the cats or the pandas or something. And it was, of course, the cats. Of course, I don't really know what I'm going to put them on, but I have cat stickers. <laughs> um, so that's neat. Other than that, the weekend was sort of a lot of sitting around intentionally, and unintentionally, I guess, and just being like, ugh, things. I was craving dairy, and so I made a big thing of cheese sauce and had mac and cheese um, with gluten-free noodles and a lot of vegetables in it, but it was still mac and cheese. Uh, for a late snack, I turned the rest of the cheese sauce into nachos and like cooked up some chorizo and put it with it and the cheese sauce with the chorizo grease was so good. Oh my god, it was the best thing. So tomorrow um, I do have the other, uh, I guess it's interview part two with this guy, uh, this professor guy who thankfully I'm no longer intimidated by because he's... Like, I was sort of concerned he would be one of those professors who's, like, clearly there for his research and students are a distraction, but, or, like, about the theory of education and stuff like that, but, like, he's 
a real person who sees his students as real people. Um, and yeah. Um, so talking to him on the phone, like I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'm far less nervous about it, uh, both because it's on the phone and because I met the guy before. So that's pretty cool. I think that's all. I, I love you a lot. Like, like a little drawing of an a lot, you know, a lot. And you are super awesome and great and stuff. And uh, it is probably, it sounds like it's a kind of stressful time for you, but hopefully a lot of it is good stress because it seems like you have a lot of good things going on. And I know that when you go to that conference thing, you will make friends and then everything will be awesome and whatever. You won't have to worry about like looking smart because there'll be people and you'll just be talking with them and you will sound smart because you are smart. Anyway, yes, I love you. Um, I will see you on the internet at some point in the decently near future. Bye.